everyone welcome to united rebreed and it's so great to have you again once again and a happy i wish you a happy new year in advance and yeah i'm going to be talking about our just completed game against wolves we won one zero and yeah we started well and um there's something i said about our set pieces in the last video and that was evident as early as the 15 minutes today where we went very very close with a very nice corner kick and um casmero had his head to the ball and it was almost a goal I want you all to take note that our set pieces are really improving and that is really really good to see. I must say Wolves were strong, they didn't play like a small side, they didn't play like an average side, they wanted to get their goal, they wanted to push us and make things very uncomfortable for us. But thank God our defense is really good, we're really good at the back and we're, we're able to take care of all the balls that they tried to put into the box and we really made some really nice blockage. If not, they would have got their goal. And there was a time we had this quick break. Everything gave the ball to Ganacho. Semedo went ahead to do a very big mistake. Ganacho was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he had all the time in the world to look the ball. He had all the time to dribble the keeper. But for some reason, he just he just, he just, he just didn't put enough effort. So, so annoying. Like, how did Ganacho miss that ball? <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I used to think Ganacho is a good finisher. But the past two games now, he has lost two big chances and now i'm beginning to think otherwise i don't know i'm not going to i'm not going to jump into conclusion just yet but ganacho really has to do better with his finishing not long after them um wolves were playing really good we were defending well we got the ball we went straight forward and um there was this ball bruno fernandez gave to Marcia. Marcia went very close again just after that, um ganacho miss and if you if you if you take your time to look at that video i want you to understand what i'm saying very well i'm going to try and break it down for you to understand if you get that video, you can watch it again and you see that if Martial had used his right leg to kick that ball, I guess he would have had more time to score that goal. But he went for his left foot and gave the defender enough time to clear that ball away. I don't expect everyone to understand this thing I said now, but that's just the way I see because there's a way I watch football is quite much deeper than the normal, the way normal people see it. If he had gone with his right foot to hit that ball, you would have had more time and the defender sliding wouldn't have had any effect on what he wanted to do or the goal he wanted to score but because he waited that extra one second to take the ball in with his left foot there was a problem and so still no goal we really need to do better we really need to be taking chances like this and be converting them to goals now this is two chances that we lost in the first half and hmm, it's not good and after that play kept going we created chances it's not like we didn't create chances we created chances and another chance fell to anthony inside the box where he just added the ball straight to the keeper like no power no trying to put effort into it, you know, trying to put some direction and it just added the ball straight to the keeper. That is embarrassing. We need to be scoring goals like this. Like we really need to be pouncing on opportunities like this and turning them to go. Talking about Marcel, Marcel went very close again to 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 goal. He should have just put his head on that ball but for some reason his head didn't get to the ball and the ball fell to Anthony. Anthony was outside. Anthony even put his head on the ball but still he was outside so it didn't matter. But I don't think Bo should have even gotten to Anthony in the first place. Martial should have taken care of that thing and scored that goal himself. Martial is not is not goal hungry. He's not hungry for goals, and we really need to get a striker that's hungry. We really need it. like it's inevitable. We just need to get a striker that is hungry for goals, and when he gets chances, chances like that, like the one Martial is missing today, if it was a hungry striker, he'd have scored. I don't understand, but we really need to get a striker. We need it so bad. The second half began, Rashford came in for Ganacho. Yeah, Rashford came in for Ganacho and it was still the same problem. It was still the same issues. Too many touches in the box. Too many pass, 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 pass. Too many chances created, but still no goal. So still like that for the early parts of the second half. The hair had to make an important save. A very, very important save to keep us in the game. When Ruben Neves took that um very brilliant free kick, that ball is... This is, this is going to be at the back of the net every single day of the week, but he has stood up to it like we know him to always do, and he kept us in the game, and it was still the same thing, creating chances, not getting goals. At some point, the boys began to get frustrated. At some point, um, Bruno started to play absolute nonsense, and at that point, I, was, I, felt, I felt he should have been taken out of that game because I really did not understand what Bruno was doing today. Especially in the second half today, he was he started to get frustrated. The rest of the players too they started to get somehow frustrated. But you know, Bruno wasn't just cutting it for me at that point, and I was really frustrated and angry at him. And it was just the defense turning up and being strong, zero creativity, 
I don't know, the midfield wasn't wasn't as strong as it should be. I felt like we we, we our midfielders were too soft for the Wolves midfielders because Ericsson just couldn't win any ball. Bruno Fernandez was kept falling down. The only person that was able to go physical with the Wolves midfielders was Casemiro, and he was the only one doing the dirty works. At some point, he was really tired. It went on like this until the moment of brilliance. Yeah, a simple one-two ball. Rashford to Bruno. Bruno gave it back to him. He had to be really strong there. He had to be really strong to take that ball and just slot it into the back of the net. Yes, I was really happy with the goal, and it just shows how much we missed Rashford in this game. Rashford is in top form and he's really, really delivering and we are really happy for him like I said last time and yeah, yeah, yeah. We just keep, I just hope he keeps going this way and he keeps giving us this wonderful, wonderful performances back to back because we love it and we love to see him this way. Yes, Rashford got us one goal up and yes, we're one goal up. Let's call it again. Rashford went in a game with a very, very wonderful ball but this time around it was ruled offside by VR. I don't want to say I don't want to say anything about VR now because I, 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 if, I, if, I'm, if I'm going to speak about them I'm really sure I'm going to be using some words I'm not supposed to use on here. VR cancelled Rashford's second goal and so it was still one goal up and from there it was lots of physical and defensive work. Our defence was really solid today. David De Gea was on top today and yeah, 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 yeah. It was just defensive works from there. We really had to be strong at the back because the Wolves player, they kept coming at all. They kept coming, they kept coming and they didn't stop coming. And David De Gea had to make a wonderful save from the Wolves corner. I think Raul Jimenez had his head on the ball and the ball almost went in but David, David De Gea was there too. Take care of it and yes, 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 it kept us still in the game. David David yeah, I, I guess made two wonderful saves today that kept us in that game. And yes, we know we know him, we are used to these things and we know what kind of keeper we have on our hand and we are very happy to have the David De Gea on our side keeping us in games and ensuring that we get clean sheets and win games like we are doing now. So it was just um, a lot of defensive work and um yeah Nothing really happened again in the game until the final whistle. So now I'm just going to take time and pinpoint the things that we should do better and the things that actually went to well in this game. So first of this game, I'm going to talk about the defensive side of our game. Luke Shaw was really good in defense again, partnering with um, Rafael Verani. Malasia was solid. Malasia was really solid today. Um, Wamsaka was good also, but I didn't really see much from him. I think it can be better. It was better at the last game. Yeah, it was better at the last game than this match but he also had a very, really nice performance and um yeah defensively really, we were good and in the midfield the only person that is physical and win ball more is Casemiro and 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 and, and it's not good enough it's not good enough it's not good enough he, he needs someone that is really strong um so um someone like Ericsson especially don't win ball like he's just too soft he's only just good with the ball at his feet but when the ball is off his feet and he has to get it back it's a lot of work for him he simply just cannot do it and bruno too is like that bruno is too soft i don't know i don't know i said i still feel like we need to get a good midfielder that can do that can create and also win balls alongside casemiro attack wise we really need to take our chances i've been saying this since day one since day one we really need to score goals we are creating the chances now at some point so the chance is not being created but now we are beginning to create the chances and we just need to put the ball in the back of the net i believe that that will come i believe it will come but it has to come quick it has to come quick we should have finished this game as early as the first half at least two goals up and just be comfortable in the second half and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but we just couldn't score until you we, we, we required uh, a moment of um a moment of brilliance from Rashford to score away and, and they were and we created nice team chances we should have scored earlier that's not good enough so i just really hope that we take our chances we they really need to work on some training grounds and i'm really sure they is going to address this there's been improvements on the all around play the passes and stuff like that but we really need to take our chances more and that's up to the attackers yes they need to be sharper they need to be ruthless so we can get more goals those are the things that we really should be looking into we definitely need a striker Please like this video and hit this subscribe button until I see you again next time on United Break. Happy New Year in advance. Bye.